bonjour and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Claude and today Capricorn I'm going to be doing your tower reading for the next three months. This is to give you a view of the energies that are going to be surrounding you for the month of April, May and June. So I hope you are all doing well. Now please do bear in mind those are general readings. They will not resonate with everybody. Take what resonates and just drop the rest. If the message doesn't resonate with you or if you would like a more comprehensive picture, do check your Moon, Venus and Rising signs. Now what do I have for my Capricorn Querence, please? Okay, I think that's enough. So your first card is Blend into the Environment, card 36, beautiful octopus. You have many skills and can fit into any situation. Take time to assess what is going on around you and adapt accordingly. Okay, so I'm getting the energy that you are in the middle of a situation and um, you're not quite sure how to react. Uh, you may have to take sides or you're thinking maybe I shouldn't. Um, you're just wondering what you should be doing. And this card is advising you to really be an observant, you know, look at it from, from a distance and then that would tell you how to react, you know, in the most appropriate way and the most um, positive way for you. The second card you get is card 23, Distinctive Potential. Rely on your faith and the knowledge that nothing is impossible. Use your determination to hang in there until you realize a goal. So again, you know, when I was thinking about you being in the middle of a situation where you're wondering how you should react, um, this card is urging you not to give up and, um, you know, use your willpower to stay in it until you know how to react. Um, and also, um, it may be a situation that's restricting you, you know, like sometimes people put a glass ceiling on your progress. Um, and you're desperately wanting to, to grow, to move forward. It could be a promotion, it could be, you know, getting a raise or whatever. And this card re reassures you that nothing is impossible. You have, you know, a unique uh, potential. And, you know, you, you need to obviously believe in it. And um, have the willpower to just stay in this situation that may be stagnant, that may be uncomfortable. But that until you can... Um, realize your your goal or your dream whatever it is in your life and then you have 21 enjoy the journey this is one of my favorite cards in this deck stay present and flexible many changes are going on for you and around you you see this echoes what i was telling you about being in the middle of a situation uh, even feeling overwhelmed not knowing how to react you know wondering these changes are not only good but necessary Bring your awareness into the now rather than focusing on the past or the future. So this is a grounding card. This is really saying, you know, take the time to practice mindfulness. Be in the present because when you think about the past, whether you are holding on to something that hurt you, whether you are being nostalgic about something, or if you're projecting yourself in the future, well, you're not living. You're just in your head. And in the meantime, your life is going by you. So this is really talking about even if it's not comfortable right now, embrace the discomfort, the uncertainty, because you need to remember that nothing is impossible and that things are lining up for you, for the ultimate positive outcome for you. But you may not see it yet, but enjoy the journey. And I can tell you, I regret not enjoying the journey when I was packing my life from one side of the world to the other. All I wanted to do was be there already and I didn't take the time to actually enjoy the journey. Um, I was always in my head, always projecting forward, planning things, etc, etc. And now I regret it. I look back on it and, and I feel silly. So this is the message of, of this card, you know, really ground yourself in the present moment. Let's see what the tower has to say about this. Clarify those messages, please. So 
your first card is the Nine of Wands. Ooh, the Ace of Coins, nice. And the Five of Cups. Then you have the Chariot, Major Arcana. The Emperor, another Major Arcana. And the Two of Wands. Clarify the Two of Wands, please, before I do anything else. Queen of Swords. Bottom of the deck, which is the energy at work that you may not be aware of, you have the Hermit. Okay, another Major Arcana. Now, if you ever watched a reading from me, you know that Major Arcanas are very significant for me as a reader, because I believe they represent the hand of um, God, Divine, the Universe, Spirit, your angels, whoever you work with, intervening to make things happen for you. So they provide you with experiences, relationships or events that are going to make you grow mentally, emotionally, spiritually, whatever the case. Or they put you on the right track for your life journey, or they redirect you if you've strayed and you so that you may fulfill your life purpose. So the Hermit is a card of introspection. This is the card of um, going within, taking time out, going within and looking at all of the dark corners of who you are and without judgment, um, observing it and finding out who you really are, what you really want for your life, what does your uh, soul yearn for, basically. And then once you've acquired that knowledge, coming back out and, you know, shining your light, knowing which way you're going. So this is in the background right now working for you, this kind of energy of introspection. So we have the Nine of Wands. Now the Nine is the number of achievement, and Wands is the suit of passion. So this is fire energy. It talks about what your heart and soul truly desire. The Nine of Wands is one away from completion of a cycle. So it's having put 200% into something, whether it's a relationship, a job, a career, your studies, whatever it is. It's really having put your heart and soul into it and, you know, the journey has been long and tiring and you've acquired some cuts and bruises and wounds, but not giving up. This is the ultimate card of perseverance, not giving up. Um, you know, even if there's one last challenge, it's just pushing through because you're nearly there. And it is supported by the chariot. Now, I can't think of a better card to support this because the chariot is um, ruled by number seven, just the number of experience. This is a major arcana. And this talks about really never deviating from your path, going all guns blazing towards your goal. Um, and no matter how many obstacles, challenges you may encounter, tackling them and being victorious and successful at the end of the journey. So, you know, it, it, it's a war card. It's really, you know, it's not easy. It's going to be, you're going to have things that are going to stop you. But, and they have, as you can tell by my description of the Nine of Wands, but this is you pushing through and being successful. And it really echoes nicely the beginning of this card that talked about the many skills that you have that enable you to adapt to any situation. And then you've got a brand new beginning coming this way. Now, this is um, the Ace of Coins. This is the seed, the origin of any suit. And the coins represent the physical world. So this may represent your home life, your work life, your financial assets, your career, your job, your studies. Take what resonates. This is a tangible brand new beginning in the physical world. So it can represent a job offer. It could represent a raise. It could represent a promotion. Um, it could represent a little bit of money coming your way to help you start something, uh, creating a brand new business. Whatever this is, it's a brand new beginning. And this is supported by the Emperor. Emperor is an other um, major arcana. Now he's ruled by number four, which is the number of strong foundations and um, stability. The Emperor is someone who is very experienced, so he has this, and he's a very stable leader. He's someone who knows how to get their troops to victory, plans every step of the way, very boss energy, uh, very confident, go-getter, intelligent, really nice. Now, this could be the person providing you with this brand new beginning. So no genders attached, this is a general reading. So this could be someone who represents the traits of this court card, giving you some money, 
uh, giving you a raise, giving you a promotion, whatever this is. Alternatively, this could represent you bossing up and taking charge of your life and embracing this brand new beginning. So take what resonates. Because it is directly positioned under the distinctive potential, where the card tells you to rely on your faith and knowledge that nothing is impossible, that you need to use your willpower to stay where you are and push so that you realize your goal, which is very emperor energy. You then have the five of cups. Now, five is the number of change and challenges, and cups is the emotional realm. So we're talking about your feelings, your emotions, um, you know, what makes you happy, what doesn't, uh, relationships and so on. This talks about uh, an emotional challenge. So it can be regret, it can be um, disappointment. Whatever it is, this is something that's challenging you and stopping you from see seeing the silver lining of a situation. So you may looking, be looking back at this all effort and time that you've, um, that you've been putting in and feeling that things you know, have been so hard, you know, why does it have to be so hard for me? That may be how you, you, you'll be feeling, you know. You may be feeling that this new beginning is not as big as what you were hoping, is what I'm hearing, you know, a bit disappointed by the kind of new beginning that you were offered. Um, and it really is about realizing that there is no such thing as a small beginning. You know, everything has to start at a seed level in order to grow. Now, I can understand that if you've been very, very tired and you've been working on something really hard and you've given it your heart and soul, this can be disheartening if you have to start brand new at the beginning. So please do bear this in mind that, you know, it is an emotional challenge, but do look at the silver lining of the situation. And this is supported by the Two of Wands, which is clarified by the Queen of Swords. Now, the Two is the number of decision, um, also partnerships, um, polarity. And with the Wands, um, it's, it really talks about looking at which direction you want to go. You're at a crossroad and you, you know, really the world is your oyster. You can achieve what you want, but it's about planning and deciding whether you're going to go left or right. And the experiences are going to be different, but um, the result will be the same. And this was clarified by the Queen of Cups, the um, Swords, sorry. Now the Queens represent patience and understanding, and the Swords is the mental realm. So this is to do with your thoughts, your ideas, truth, communication, knowledge. The Queen of Swords is someone who is very fair, very intelligent, and who is going to look at facts and makes decision based on those facts. And she has the um, source of truth and she's going to cut what no longer serves her. So this discontent is going to bring you to a crossroad whereby you are going to decide what no longer serves you and then you're going to move forward from there. And to get to that clarity, that level of clarity, to find out what no longer serves you, you're going to go into hermit mode. Now, I don't presume to tell you how to leave, lead your life. I'm just telling you what the cards are saying, obviously. You know, remember that every thought you have and focus on, or every action you take, will have an effect on the final outcome. But this card that talks about blending into the environment, uh, taking the time to assess what's going on around you and adapt, I believe is the hermit mode. You need to go within, find out, to find out which direction to go and cut what no longer serves you and is bringing you discontent in your life. That situation that I was talking about at the beginning where I said you're in discomfort, there's things happening around you and you're not quite sure how to react. Maybe you're going to have to take sides. Do you remember I was talking about that? This is what this is talking about. Because you have a brand new beginning right here that has the potential to be uh, very good, but obviously you're going to have to work at it. And if you have something that's preventing you from doing this, then you need to cut it because this has taken a lot of energy um, from yourself. And to remember to be grounded, okay? You've got the card of, you know, enjoy the journey. Um, these changes are happening for your good, not against you. So do try and, and, you know, be aware of this. So I hope you've enjoyed your journey for the cards with me. If you did or if the message helped you in any ways, do let me know in the comment box below. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. I wish you a beautiful next three months and I hope to see you again very soon. Until next time, au revoir.